development challenges facing the government and development partners in Nigeria today. How do we face this challenge remains a priority. These are many more we will be looking at in today's episode of, of the program. Good afternoon. Glad to have you join me in another informative episode of As It Is In Your Area with Living Television. As always, I am your area diva, Unye Eze. Luckily with me in the studio today, I have a social commentator, a personality who will do justice to the topic at hand. The topic which says, youth and skill development towards boosting the economy. He is no other person than Comrade Namdi Elekwachi. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you for having me on this wonderful show. Right. You're welcome, viewers. Okay, welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, sir, um, talking about the skill, what is skill acquisition and skill development? Okay, skill acquisition is uh, the way through which uh, someone acquires a particular creative livelihood. Okay. As a creative livelihood, means of, of living. Oh. Skills, uh, some skills, if you talk about skills, then some skills are even naturally embedded in, in someone. It, it could be skill of, of uh, playing football, music, mm. and, and, and what have you. Then there are also skills that are transferable. Okay. Things like uh, sewing, carpentry, what have you, even um, uh, the ones you also acquire through education okay. and then computer digitization and the rest of them. So, um, skill acquisition is a way mm. it, uh, through which uh, someone in a society acquires a creative way okay. of um, uh, uh, enjoying their own potentials and, and then maximizing their, their own goals and living independently okay. of others. Okay, okay. That means at the end, you earn a living. Yes, you, you earn a living with that skill. All right, that's skill acquisition. Now, what is skill development? Now, skill, skill development uh, is the process of honing the talent okay. or honing the knowledge that has been transferred. Okay. So, if, for example, I came here mm. to be taught by you, okay. let me say I could write. I'm a creative writer, mm -hmm. but I'm here to develop content for you you now teach me how to write those things in paragraph in items in bullets the news bulletin how they are going to be there the process of attending conferences seminars whatever is the skill development, development. Okay. having acquired the skill you now have to develop this if you do not develop the skill the skill remains there yeah. but if you develop it it even helps you to do what to find yourself Okay. In that environment, in that in that in that in that very system, okay. you understand? Now you now begin to do what creates your own, and then uh, it makes you liberal. Okay, okay, thank you, um, comrade. At what age do you think that a child should get a skill? As soon as a child is born, okay. look at them very well. Mm -hmm. See what they are fond of doing. Okay. You see, there are children who like to, uh, um, uh, they like to dismantle things. They like to break things break apart. Things. Yes, you see them and try, try them to. Back. Yes, mm. so that is also uh, essential skill. There are ones who also love music. Okay. They like to listen, and the first thing they will say while while growing up is songs. Song. Mm. They will um, uh, mangle mm. the lines, mm. but don't worry. See how much affiliate or see how they love this thing, and then try to encourage them. Then there are children who also play football. Then again, um, uh, when uh, for for livelihood, I would say. In the society we are today, when a child finishes primary school and then the intervening period before they get admitted into, into, secondary, into, into school. secondary school, mm. let the child learn something, okay. something tangible, something within that age bracket can learn. I can, go, I, can go, I, can, I can go ahead and then enumerate them. There are things the child need to learn for survival. Mm. In as much as the child may just be 11, 12. Okay. That's when you begin to expose the child to 
computer programming, lay, lay little things, but not those ones that are harmful. Mm. Understand? Because the world is going digital. Yeah. I read a report that said by 2030, over 60% of the world human beings are doing now will no longer be done by humans. Okay. We are now in the era of the fourth industrial realm, the fourth industrial revolution. Okay. Computer is the is the in thing, digital scale, digital upscaling, okay. Okay. digital equipment, mm. the digital ecosystem to make sure that people are included. Your own child should not be left alone. Then, if a child finishes secondary school before they enter university, or if they don't want to, you know, there is a time you talk about even things like vocation, uh, tailoring, carpentry, and the rest of them. Because the world we are now is a very flexible world. I think uh, countries like Germany, America, and the rest of them, the ones we call West, yeah. they no longer pay you because you have a paper qualification. Okay. They no longer pay you because you can put A and A together and then form a word. Mm. They pay you because you are able to solve problems. Okay. You understand? Yeah. You are able to stand in the gap mm. between need and the person Person's going to demand. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So, um, the world is changing and I think we should tag along. We shouldn't be left behind. Okay, so that means um, as soon as a child is born, the guardian the, or the parents the guardian or the know, parents should know what that child has tendency for. Okay, what the and child likes to do and do that child, that. yeah, do okay. that child do all that part. Okay, but then when at every stage mm. you, you you just expose the child mm. to a specific scale. Yeah. Yes. So when they are done with secondary school, even if it is mechanic, you know. The, the, the mistake some of us made. In fact, let me share this anecdote. When I was uh, growing up, I left secondary school. Yeah. Um, there were many factories, many, 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 many companies in Abba. Hmm. I know it's not our way to mention or, or of mentioning names. Yes, yeah. yes, here. But I say there were, there were brands in Abba, multinational corporations, MNCs. You have the Unilever, the Diesel, and the rest of them. That a youth of my age would only go and stand before the gate. In the next couple of hours, you are told to come in and start working. You could work for three years, two years, one year, while you wait for your admission. But I think uh, we wasted time to an extent because we didn't acquire a basic life skills. I'm using myself as an example. Mm. So when we left university, I realized that I would have loved to owe a barber salon. Because when you, when, when you leave the university, you don't easily get a job in Nigeria. That's yes. just the, unless you have that skill. And that is why it's very important mm. to have a skill that even while in, um, uh, in the university, while at the university, you are using it to also find, find. your path. Okay. You understand? Because, yes, because the so called long jobs, the, the so called uh, white collar jobs, job. they, they are not really, really available. Throughout his tenure, President Muhammad Buhari placed him back on unemployment. What was happening were just a few replacements here and there. So, what will a youth do? differently to fit in into the competitive and elastic economic environment mm. they are. You understand? Where finance is shrinking, competition is elastic. You understand? Mm. So it is ability to um, show the world, to showcase that skill. Say, I can be a teller. I can, and now this day, this day and age where internet has made things easy, mm. you can actually, when you have digital scale, you can actually talk about marketing. Mm. E-marketing and the rest of them, yeah. e-commerce and the rest of them. We even talk about other things, graphs and, and other So now is the time for you, you young ones, even the government, to begin to refocus the 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 the, the conversation yeah. towards acquisition of skill. And when I say skill acquisition, I don't mean the, the type they do, empowering people with uh, mosquito, mosquito nets, mm -hmm. empowering people with. Uh, um, you see, I, I was to inspect conspiracy project of a, a, a legislator. I saw that he was empowering people with uh, chicks, young yeah, young birds, chicks, okay. say uh, five day old, mm. old one week. Uh, but that's not the thing. Is that person coming from the agro sector or agro ally or, 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 or let me say agricultural sector? So the most important thing is to see the area where people have preference. If a child likes cutting, making implements. Fashion and implement it means they can have tendency to do this. And why they have it, make them understand that no job, no job mm. is inconsequential. And that even even if you are wearing your pullover, you are wearing your gear, you are uh, at the uh, at the car war workshop, where where you are carrying engine, bringing engine now, fixing, let them know that it is for future, not about because the problem we have is also. Uh, discrimination, mm. you understand? Yeah. The, the discrimination against certain professions, certain skills, yeah. certain uh, uh, 
uh, by handwork. Okay. All right. Thank you. Remember, as it is in your area, is a live phoning program where you can call us and tell us what is happening in your area, be it usual or unusual things. Those things that you think that people should know that is happening, that is unique in your area that people should know, all those illegal things happening in your area that you felt that government should know, call us and tell us what is happening in your area. You can also call and participate in today's program. Give us your opinion on today's topic. That is why we're here. The number is 0916-828-4994. I say it again. We can also entertain you in Pidgin or Igbo language. Call us on 0916-828-4994. Okay, moving ahead. Um, comrades, mm. now, um, you know, when you, when you give birth to children, um, some are difficult to understand. Yeah. Now, um, because you can't identify what all your kids want. Mm. As you know, you give birth to a child and you really don't understand that child, what uh, the hobby of the child is. Yes. Now, how will you identify the child's hobby as far really the child mm. to get a skill? You see, I, yeah, it's hardly a child without a hobby. Mm. I don't know, maybe the, the development uh, Psychologists will I mean, tell something you that, that the child not sure. When when the child withdraws, there are okay. there are children who who have that tendency to withdraw. Okay. Look at them; they may be doing something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They may be doing something. Okay. There, there, there is hardly a child that doesn't, that have, a doesn't have a hobby. Okay. You understand? No human being can uh, exist without hobby. Some love to watch football. Some love to read books. Some love a lot of things. Okay. If that child is alone singing, you understand? Mm. Singing. This time the, the child is alone. Singing. singing. It could be that there, there, there is that love for music, and that's how you begin. You understand? You begin mm. to provide, you begin to guide that child by providing certain instruments to see whether they would like to maybe piano, little, little things. They were, you know, these days it is easier because I know now that when we are growing up, we don't even have a toy for pia uh, a, a piano toy. Yeah. These, these days you have all the other things, all even, things, even yeah. drums mm. for children. So. Mm. A lot of things, uh, there is hardly a child that is growing that doesn't have tendency okay. for a particular thing. When they are coming inside the kitchen, for example, don't say, oh, this will hurt you. All you need to know is to be careful. You, understand? you have to be very, very careful, careful. to avoid domestic accidents. Accident. Okay. But at the same time, you have to know whether this child is coming to the kitchen because there is something there the child sees, or, 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 or perhaps the aroma mm. is, is drawing the child there. So, a lot of things, you understand? But the problem we have in, the, in this part of the world is that we don't program children. Yes, I think in the Western world, where when a child starts growing, they say to the parents, um, follow, there, there is this photo report they do. Okay. When the child starts crawling, if he has tendency to destroy things, they will be snapping, sending. And, and then the development and then family psychologists will now come in to say, this is what this child likes to do. Exactly. And, and you see, that way we are able to uh, bridge the gap. See, everybody must not go to university. Mm. Everybody must more, sure. more, 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 I, 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 I find it quite um, uh, crazy that whenever where, there is an opening in the government sector or in the, or in the, or in the private sector, um, you are looking to employ 1,000 persons, 100,000. Yeah. 100,000 are yes. falling over themselves mm -hmm. to get a job that probably 500 of them might have been actually decided by those who have who know senators or house of Mr. members who knows, who knows these politically exposed persons mm. so what in essence these hundred thousand persons are actually come looking for is 500 openings at the end of the day you see that uh, people still remain in fact the sector still remain and the crime is still heightened because people are not okay. definitely employed like i was saying in my days you don't we didn't hear about street courtism okay the one we are here hearing now in Abba, mm. that people will shoot people people will, because they are into street courtism, not even a campus-wide activity. Yes. It's not happening in the street corners. The reason is because uh, there are no factories, and okay. the people are not even tuning in. And then again, let me say this, you see, uh, there is also an institution we are lo losing in Ali, a bad boy. Okay. It hurts me so much. Okay. That was what stayed the economy after the civil war. Anybody who was coming out mm. will come with their unity or, or, or with their relations. And then that their business, even if they are fixing bicycle, 
they are repairers. There are younger ones also learning. learning it. Those skills were transferred to them. They also got other people. That way, you are doing what? You are pulling people out of poverty from independence to the, to self dependence. Oh, okay. that's what I mean. Yeah. To, from from dependence to, to self reliance. Okay. Yes. To so to a great extent, uh, uh, we are always also losing that. If you come to uh, the, the mechanic workshops these days, the the uh, even the carpenters workshop or your even the tailors workshop, see that they hardly have people who are learning, who are even serving them. Even the artists. Because everybody now wants want, want, want to, to go to school, mm. want to get this white collar job or, 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 or even green collar job if you like. Some also want to do other things mm. that uh, they, want, they want to follow the shortcuts, quick fixes. You understand? Yeah. So it's like that. But, but I think the, the government has a lot, a lot to do. Even the parents, the religious institutions, um, uh, cultural and then uh, political opinion molders, mm. they all have a role to play. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Comrade, what are the challenges of skill development in Nigeria? Yes, the challenges of skill development in Nigeria are begin with education. Okay. We've not really fine-tuned our education curriculum to focus on these things. Although you go to university, you hear Center for Entrepreneurial Study, Center, so what are they talking about? Mm. There's a place like Abana where you have uh, a lot of businesses, uh, a lot of uh, SMEs. Have the government and then schools been able to build curriculum and say this is how we are going to unravel this sector? For example, what are those guys in St. Michael's doing? Do you understand? Yeah. Some of them are doing digital things, some of them are creating apps, some of them are. Are we talking about how to transfer this technology now, bring it to the classroom? We are students learn so that you don't even see people who are there as illiterate. Mm. And that was one of the things we had in mind when we were talking about 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 about. Um, uh, the, the, um, uh, Abba, Abba business school. Okay. Abba business school, you understand? This place will have a lot of micro and uh, semi uh, scale industries. Mm. But how do you bring people in and, and how do you theorize it? How do you explain it? You understand? To mm. create an academic concept. Okay. What we are talking about, if you talk about economic models, yeah, we are always talking about, um, uh, we are still talking about Matosian mm -hmm. theory, or uh, we are still talking about uh, um, uh, Keynesian theory. All these people existed in a different environment. So we talk about our own. I didn't say something about a bad boy. So who we talk about our own institutions? Mm. Oh, do you understand? The one happening in St. Michael's, mm. the one happening in Ayo Hono. Mm. Even these women, you see, they call them the highest. There is something we have to talk about. Okay. Amplify these things. Let people understand that, yes, uh, that there is also uh, dignity mm. in, in, in Lebo. Okay, all right. Thank you, comrade. I'm not comrade. You think that the inability of youth to equip themselves with skill is an obstacle for them to participate fully in the world work. Yes. Okay. The inability to develop a skill, uh, it reduces the, chance, the chances of that person mm. leveraging their own potential, their God-given potential, yes, potential. To, to maximize their living. Mm. I'll give an example. You see, unemployment, as we talk about, Nigeria has over 33% unemployment. Yeah. So it simply means that for every 100 person you see, every 100 person you see in Nigeria, 33 are not working. Mm. And then those who are working, there are some who are underemployed. And there are some who are doing jobs that spare their time. For example, you are teaching. I'm not saying teaching doesn't um, consume much of your time. I know that you go to your house, there are papers to be marked assignment to supervise whatever but i'm saying there are things you are doing you could even be in the in the in the, in the public sector but you know how they need yeah. need clothes you mm -hmm. can spare time to do, to do that yes yeah. so um, uh, when people fail to develop themselves they become a liability to the society for example the ones they usually use to read elections the ones they usually use to read elections mm -hmm. uh, they have they are most people who are not employed right. and then sometimes uh, addicts so they will pay them money uh, um, they employ them. Okay. They employ them in, in quotes to go and snatch ballot, to go and even possibly carry out execution style killing before or during elections. And we see this thing happen. We saw what happened in Lagos. We saw what happened in Anambra. Number, yeah. we, we saw what happened in Ebony State. We saw what happened in Imo State. Yeah. Mm. So all these things point to something that the lever that should be driving employment mm. is weakened because employment today is seen as white collar job. job. Not about skills, not mm. about what individual could do. Not about even they, even if they have a voice to sing, it's not just about how they can go about it. I know someone who uh, does this uh, itumbem, 
Itumbem. There is this thing they call Itumbem. Mm. Uh, they will start singing, uh, it's just like a ballad. They will be folklore. They will be saying something about the tradition, uh, the, the historical patterns that once existed. She's now in the United Kingdom. And she's done where she's visited many theaters there and, 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 and has performed. But ordinarily, this is what the society will not even encourage. Mm. I'm a poet. Okay. I write poems. So I know when my sister says something about it, every time they're talking about well, how would that bring food to the table? Okay. But we don't talk about how to develop or hone a talent. We which even uh, elaborately say when we fail to develop our skill, what will happen? Mm. Then I used to also play football. Even my family is well, in fact, my, my, my family once said you must go to school. Then from from my childhood I, I had the tendency to draw. I still draw today. But uh, my family also said, no, you can't draw, you must go to school because there was an artist in my village who did not go to school, school. the way they say school, but they do not know that that artist is also an institution sure. that can train others. Mm -hmm. So what is education? We try to focus more on formal education mm. to get the back qualification, but and the informal education, yes, and can then get what collateral from there. Then we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't talk about informal education, that people can actually transmit ideas, mm. that people can actually transmit skills, mm. vo vocational skills, attitudinal skills yeah. to people by way of interaction, mm. by way of association by way of mingling, by way of interfacing, by way of even followership. Okay. So these are the things we don't talk about. Oh, thank you, comrade. Note, employment is not only white collar job. We will be back shortly. Keep watching. contribute your own opinion into this topic concerning the youth and skill development towards boosting the economy call us on 0916-828-4994 the number is again 0916-828-4994 now oh, comrade can you please analyze the benefit of skill development towards boosting the economy okay thank you very much when you say skill development towards boosting the economy it simply means you are expanding the informal sector. Yeah. And when I say the informal sector, I mean the sectors that are not captured in government sector. Okay. They are not in the government sector. For example, if skin is if, if a skill is honed, the implication is that the bearer of the skill can transfer the skill and then increase the number of people who will pay taxes to the economy. Okay. That's number one. Then number two, um, uh, it reduces the crime mm -hmm. that will actually uh, hinder economic activities or flow. Okay. So if someone is getting fully employed by way of skill, mm. you cannot recruit them to go and snack balance. You cannot recruit them to, in fact, they cannot even be, uh, be attracted by appeals of, uh, of their peers or through peer pressure. Then again, I think if the government can actually get it right, for example, a place like uh, Abba, the other we were discussing, and uh, we talked about Abba has 10 days before, leather work, Abba make shoes, Abba make beds. So how do we leverage this potential, this human resource? We're talking about these human resources. Okay. How, how do we leverage them to do what to expand the market? Even the government, if the government can be sincere, mm. you understand, and then expand the sector or the corridor of skills, okay. diversification of skills, mm. you see that not everybody will be saying, I, I need a job in the oil sector, I need job. people will now find other means of development. And then it also creates exponential growth where the government can tax them and then increase the balance of payment. We are talking about dollar. Why are we talking about dollar growing? Dollar is growing because we are not producing anything. anything. So if we are producing something, or if we are, if, if we are producing something, but the government is not even interested, you understand? So every time it beats my imagination that people still wear things, I'm not saying that made in China things are not good. 
they still wear things made in China, China. In, in, in preference to the one made in Abba. But China was once like Abba until they found their own uh, uh, footing within the global market. market. Today, China is dominating everywhere, even expanding their horizon, shaking off the US, shaking off everyone, even, even the West. So Nigeria has that potential, but unfortunately we've not done much because the government is not talking about scale. Yeah. What they normally do here is politics. They're mm. not talking about scale. But I'm saying, before in Abadi, there used to be vocational centers. Mm. I know one close to uh, close to the museum there, mm. about vocational center. Yeah. Yes, even Margaret Temple used to have a place people came to learn how to sew or make clothes. Mm. Unfortunately, those things are gone. Even the Akwete clothing. Yeah. Akwete, I don't know if you know about Akwete clothes. Yes, I know. Yes, uh, all these are skills. But no, no, nobody's talking about them any longer. Any Even longer. football, do we still hear about uh, inter high school soccer? Mm. Then inter school competition, competition. where the governor even comes to to be the guest of the match. So all these things, uh, if someone perceives or, you know, or is aware that the governor is coming towards them, you see them trying to give their best. And before you know it, any man, rest of them will now recruit them. Yes, yes. and then and then that's also his skill. And it simply means that you are taking people out of the street to a productive sector mm. where they can now take care of other, other people too. So yeah. it is the way it is. Oh, yeah, then that is why in Ibo they say, on Rokari Beya, Onye, 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 When you are lifted out of poverty, you lift others too. And that was why I said, when President Mohamed Bwari talked about lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty, he was transferring money, not skills. Conditional cash transfer, CCT, 5,000 Naira, 10,000 Naira, trader money, mm. farmer money. Mm. What, what would that do? That they may, may, may not even be able to buy three bags of fertilizer. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. so instead of transferring skills, they were yes. transferring money. And that's also the problem they have. If someone has skills, mm. they don't even need money. What, 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 what they need is an enabling environment to thrive. Okay. You understand? Okay. Because money finishes, skills mm. don't finish. Skills yes. are inexhaustible. They are coming from the from the from the big deer. Yes. And they are in the are in fact I don't even know how to express it. Now, when government says we are doing SMEs, you see that they will they will bring out loans. Okay. And they will even politicize it. Mm -hmm. Those who will access these loans. Mm -hmm. Not many persons will access the loans. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the day, you see, you keep asking, why is it that President Muhammad Buhari wrote that five hundred billion oh sorry, trillions of naira for Ancos Brewers project yet? Sixty four million Nigerians are food insecure. Because you could not locate people who have the zeal to pick the land to farm, mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Then again, even if, 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 if businesses, why is it that well, 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 government is talking about small scale and medium enterprise and whatever? Yet businesses are not expanding because okay. they are not getting the people. So I think it's all about uh, placing priority on skills of individual and then creating the enabling environment for them to thrive. And it even includes building infrastructure. Aba used to dominate the market in Ekotepene. In Port Harcourt, mm. in Oweri, okay. I can mention places going as far as Gabon, but unfortunately today that narrow that um, uh, corridor has shrunk because the, the government is not paying emphasis on infrastructure. Aba is now looking inward instead of looking outward. outward. Yes. Okay, so comrade, are you of the opinion that upskilling young people are cardinal towards nation building? Exactly. Okay. Let me tell you something. Nigeria is a, a state uh, that uh, when I look at Nigeria, I laugh. In the anthems we've had in this country, the, the second stanza, the, we have had we have had two, two anthems, praise for the youth. Yeah. The first the first anthem in Nigeria we held in our own native land, those mm -hmm. tribes and tongues may differ. Mm -hmm. In brotherhood we stand now. The second stanza of that poem of, of that uh, an anthem okay. said, um, "Our flag shall be a symbol that truth and justice reign in, in in truth or battle honor and this we count as gain to hand on to our children yes. a banner without stem." Mm -hmm. A banner with us then also includes skill. Mm. You understand? Mm. Things that are transparent, that are not even uh, soiled, things, things that are free of, of corruption. A banner without stain. Yeah. You understand? A mm. system that is transparent. Mm. You understand? Mm. Where they can plant their scale and begin to grow. Yeah. Then the second stanza of the current anthem we have said, O God of creation, creation. direct our noble cause, cool. guide our leaders right, help our youth the, the truth, truth to know. know. In, in love and honesty to grow and live in, uh, uh, and live in just and peace. Great lofty heights. Who is going to attend this height? The youth. Mm -hmm. That's nation building. Yeah. You don't build from top. You build you from, from down. Yeah. And that's where the youth are. Mm. The young ones. You don't build from top. Who are mm. already established. Yeah. So, the, uh, so all these things is if we understand the ideas of this nation, if we understand what, what we are supposed to be talking about, the values. We are talking about not just youth inclusion or youth inclusiveness when we say we are appointing commissioners, we are appointing ministers. No. 
youth inclusion should also involve economic inclusion. What economic packages are there for them to leverage? You understand? What yeah. incentives are there for them to leverage? Mm. To uh, be able to maximize their potential. You cannot maximize your potential mm. when you don't have a skill. Yeah. If you don't have a skill to analyze, you can't come here to talk. Yes. If you don't have a skill to even write a book, you can't even think about doing it. So it is the duty of the government and even private sectors to do what to develop and then, uh, and then say these are the persons we are going to carry along or this is how we are going to go about it. Then to upskill the youth is to develop the country. country. No doubt about that. Mm. Because the the youth we are even talking about house over 60% percent of po po population of this country and then over 70 percent of the productive forces of this nation. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Those who are whether you are talking about those who are making shoes in Ariana, those who are sewing they are within the ages of 18 to 40 oh, or to 35. I agree with so you, you see that, that yeah. uh, there is every need mm. for government to provision those things they need, including, as we are talking about, we are saying subsidy removal, mm. subsidy removal. But unfortunately, I have not heard the government say they are providing stimulus packages for these ones. Do they even have the register to know them? Does the state of this, uh, this does the government of these states ha have a, a record of those who are in the area? I'm talking about artisans and the rest of them. So that, 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 that is why it is always difficult yeah. to get this real Okay, thank you, Comrade. Now the last question before we go. Yeah. What do you think the government should do to enhance skill acquisition and then development? Okay, development. What the government should do? There are many things they should do. One, they, 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 the government cannot do it alone. They need to partner with uh, private sectors. Okay. For example, I heard that, uh, you know, they were talking about uh, um, converting engines, vehicle engines, to gas dependent, yes. no, no longer fuel dependent. Mm. Yes, and they were talking about um, 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 uh, natural gas, yes. CNG, conserved natural gas. Mm. Now, I was asking myself, what does this mean? It means the economy is transitioning. People are now moving into other, 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 other things. But the, the, the government said it cannot do it alone. It involved a, a, a company known as NIPCO. And, mm. and then others. Mm. That is also the same thing with skills. Go, 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 go. Government alone cannot talk about skills. Yes. They also need to create policies, rules that will help skills to thrive. For example, when Ngozi Okonji, when I was the Minister of Finance, there was something she did with the, with the entertainment industry. Okay. She expanded it and brought it into the former sector. And the government was actually making money from what? The export of our movies, our music, our cultures, and what have you. Have you understand what I'm saying? Yes. That, that is also tapping from skill. Mm. Then again, um, uh, edu edu education should also focus on skill. How do we even learn about uh, thread? When we want to talk about thread, we are learning something, someone in Germany, someone in Britain, someone in France, someone in US and Britain. Do we even study the locality we are? Okay. You understand? Mm. Do, do we even have such studies that try to X-ray? Apart from the university research studies, I'm sure they may exist. Where they try to X-ray the pan industry. Mm. Do they even talk about the, the cassava processing? Mm. Do we even talk about this to make students understand that yes, after university, I can confidently work into this sector and be productive. Okay. You understand? Mm. Then again, I think apart from that, again, even uh, parents have a role to play okay. when your child has a tendency to play football at a, at, a, at a tender age. Make the child to understand that football is very beautiful. But in addition to football, they can also get education. Do not stop them. Stop them, yeah. That, 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 you understand what I'm saying now? Mm. Encourage. Encourage you understand? If possible, come and watch them. Okay. Sometimes play. You understand? Then again, I think the churches, okay. the churches yes. and the and the mosques, yeah. the religious centers, they should also do more. Because I'm saying this because there is a disconnect between government and the people standing in the gap at the churches and mm. the mosque for example they were talking about war in niger it took a, an intervention of a religious group to settle what echo was a, yes a sub regional block could not even address so between, between the church and the and the uh, between the government and the people at the churches, churches. And, 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 and the mosque they are also in a better position to also educate their members okay. if possible help them with also this Scale acquisition. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. From, exactly. time, to time, from time to time, you can, you can have conferences, training, yeah. training okay. and uh, let them ask questions and then um, learn from it. And then again, I think society groups should also do more. Okay. We are also sitting here, should also talk more about it okay. to help that child while watching us understand that uh, what he is doing is not abnormal. When we were in secondary school, a friend of mine came and said, Namde, we are a two and mm -hmm. I am the first child. I will not go to university with you guys. He said, why? He said, I want to go and learn uh, driving. I said, okay. And um, some of us say, 
driving. But today, he's not just, he owns over two vehicles and he has trained about three persons through the university. The same person who didn't attend the university. So I think it's not just about um, discrimination. We, mm. we should also try to bring about policies that amplify these issues. Thank you. Okay, thank you, comrade. Great Nigeria youth who ought you to take advantage of available skill opportunities to equip yourself as we call on government at all levels. Stakeholders and relevant bodies to show more commitment towards youth development in Nigeria. Comrade Elekwachi, please thank you for honoring my invitation today. You're welcome. It's always my pleasure. All right. What advice or encouragement do you have for me? And okay. Classes? Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I've said it before. When we left university, mm. some of us had high grades. Okay. And we thought that there was any job anywhere, mm. or that there was a door open somewhere that would actually open, and you then go in and the door and talk to them, or there was an opening to absorb you. We realized that there was something you were missing that was key. You understand? I would, I would, I would advise that you be humble to your dream. Even if you have a dream of becoming a president, learn a skill. Okay. It is vital. You don't know where you may find yourself. Even driving is a skill. People who are traveling abroad now say they have realized that they. they, they they made the mistake of not learning how to drive. drive. Yes. So even cooking is a skill. Mm. You understand? Um, fashion is a skill. A lot of things is a skill. In fact, uh, fixing things, electronic components, all these things are skills. Learn something. Keep it. Honestly, you, may not, you may not use it today, yeah. but definitely tomorrow you, you may will. use it. Even if you don't use it, you may get to transfer it someday. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, comrade, once again. You're welcome. Um, this is it on um, As It Is In Your Area this week. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I remain your area diva, Onye Eze.